Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, the Right Honorable Justin Muturi, Speaker of National Assembly, Right Honorable Ken Lusaka, Speaker of the Senate, um, the President of the Supreme Court and our Chief Justice, um, Madam Koome, political leaders who are present here, the leadership of Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, I will be very brief. First, uh, it's been two years since we met last at the prayer breakfast. And in the two years, so much has happened. We have had the world and Kenya thrown into a spin because of the corona pandemic. Livelihoods, businesses, enterprises, people have suffered immensely. And we've suffered in a way that is unprecedented. It's never been that churches have been closed, mosques have been closed, schools, and many other places. And it hasn't been fashionable not to go to work, but to stay at home. But that became our lot. But with that as it may, in fact, if uh, by the words of uh, there is a common Askari who is commanding a, a platoon somewhere in the social media, in our case, and that Askari says, Semeni kimeumana, we would actually have said in the affirmative because things really became bad. Your Excellency, but because of your leadership, you stepped in and our country, the ship of our country was steadied. We've progressively managed to get ourselves up. The ministry has done a commendable job and today we are discussing how we are going to vaccinate citizens so that we can get ourselves out of this pandemic and begin to manage the economic issues and all the other issues but be that as it may we've had also even in the midst of this pandemic we've had positive things courtesy of the, this administration, the president launched the other day the Lamo port, among us many other projects that have been undertaken. We got ourselves a brand new chief justice, the first lady ever in Kenya to be chief justice. And also our speaker got an appointment with the elders. And, and I think it serves him right. After being a speaker for so long, maybe it's time to be a spokesperson. So, so much has happened in that space. But I keep, as we re reflect on this day when we have come to pray, both those of us who are here and those of us who are elsewhere, Two things come to my mind. In a meeting where most of us were, there are some two gentlemen who say two fundamental things. One was a bishop who asked us to try the Jerusalem dance instead of the other two that we had. So much happened. But as things stand today, the Tanga Tanga tours are not there, and the reggae has also stopped. I think we need to listen to what that bishop was telling us. We need to do 
something together. In that same meeting, the former prime minister also said something that was profound. In fact, in a very uncharacteristic manner, he gave us a verse. And he told us about Isaiah 1, 18. That says, come, let us reason together. Maybe again, God is speaking to us and saying, come, let us reason together. Finally, last night, as I was preparing, villagers came from the village, including some of my relatives, because uh, my daughter got a spouse. She works in foreign affairs, and so she got a foreigner to be a spouse. And so one of the gentlemen from the village was speaking to us, and he said something again, though coming from the village, that is very profound. He was telling us about this wedding in the Bible that was in, a, in Canaan. Not, not the Canaan that we all know in Kenya, but there was a village called Canaan. Kana. And in this uh, wedding, among the people invited was Mary, mother of Jesus, uh, Jesus' mother, and Jesus himself, and others. And of course, in that whole thing, there was trouble. And there was shortage. Napia Kiliumana. But because Jesus was there, things were sorted out. And he was telling us that in whatever plan, in whatever agenda, in whatever mission, have God in the equation. And I think that is profoundly what, again, we are reminding ourselves this morning. With those many remarks, it's now my duty to request our president, His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, to come and make his remarks. Mr. President, sir. Santisana William, please be seated. Thank you very much. Honorable speakers, honorable Chief Justice, all friends who have been invited, members of parliament, members of our private sector, our friends from abroad who have managed to